Welcome back guys, this is Maled Eats, the show where I try to cook without burning down my kitchen. It's been working so far, but who knows, right? Anyway, I'm not sure when the last video was, but if it's been a while, I'm sorry. If you're new here, subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications for alerts on when I post. Uh, today's video, if you've seen from the title, is crispy lentil zucchini fritters and let me say this is very out of my territory i've worked with zucchini before i've worked with lentils before but together not so much um i'm actually very happy with the results and it's a very different approach on how i would have taken with these vegetables but i'm glad i did it i got the recipe from the summer issue of bon appetit and if you were there before the channel blew up in a bad way, you'd know that Sola made these. Um, she is amazing, she is a champion, and I highly recommend it because um, I think zucchinis are still in season, not sure. So for this recipe, it's pretty straightforward. I think the best advice I can give you is soak your lentils. Like, I cannot stress it enough how easier it'll be for you if you soak your lentils at least a day in advance and soak them in warm water, keep them on the side, make sure that they um, are completely submerged and that way they won't be hard when you process them or fry them. And it'll cook, it'll cook well and it'll taste great. And another thing, um, wash everything you use right away because i didn't know this but turmeric stains and it stains and it'll stay on whatever you're using especially if it's white so make sure you wash that right away and you know always be careful with hot oil you don't want to burn yourself i didn't yet but you know i'm a pretty clumsy person so it's bound to happen eventually pray for me and so yeah without further ado Please enjoy the video. So for this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of lentils, one medium zucchini, half a medium onion, a cup of parsley, and a few other ingredients I'll list on the way. The most important step you could do ahead of time is to rinse your lentils and soak them in two cups of warm water for at least, at least two hours, at most a whole day. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna slice your half onion crosswise. Then you're gonna cut your zucchini crosswise into three pieces about two inches long. And then you're gonna cut each piece lengthwise into quarter inch planks. And then you're gonna stack the planks and then cut them into french fry looking pieces. Then you're gonna add your zucchini and onion and a teaspoon of salt into the colander and toss to combine. And then you're gonna let the zucchini and onion sit until around a tablespoon or more of liquid has been released. Then in a food processor, you're gonna put in your lentils and you're gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground turmeric, and a tablespoon of salt. And then you're gonna pulse and scrape down the sides until a puree forms. Make sure to get all the sides so it's as smooth as it can be. Then transfer into a medium bowl. Then take the vegetables off the colander and onto paper towels. That's how much liquid should come out of the veggies. Then you're gonna pat them down dry with another paper towel and then add them to your bowl. And then you're gonna add about a cup of parsley leaves and then you're gonna zest one tablespoon of lemon zest and then you're gonna mix it all together.
Then heat the oil in a medium skillet over medium high. Then using a large spoon, scoop in a quarter cup of the batter and use another spoon to flatten out the fritter. Repeat the process to make two more fritters in the oil and then fry them three at a time. It's about three minutes per side or until they're golden brown. For the sauce, just whisk in three quarter cup of whole milk yogurt, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, and half a teaspoon of sugar and salt to taste, and then whisk that all together. And there you have it guys, crispy zucchini lentil fritters with a lemony yogurt sauce. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you next time.